hello everyone the, uh, i am akash kumar and in this video i'm going to tell you that how we can connect the uh, basically arduino to the proteus as we know uh, that proteus 7 do not have the arduino library as we go to the components as we go to the component we are not going to uh, find basically where the arduino is so for that uh, first of all going to the google arduino library for proteus 7 going to its first link from here we can find the arduino library Here is the Arduino library. Here we have downloaded it. Going to its folder. Basically, what we have to do is we need to extract it to the library folder of the Proteus. Extracting it to the Proteus software. to the library folder here okay now we will see that we are having the arduino uno 3s component pasting it over here now let's uh, taking an an example in which we are going to blink the led this led will blink so for that we need to do the coding and after the coding we will uh, basically uh, put the put our hex file address over here we don't right now so for that let's take an example from first of all first of all going to the files and preferences then we need to do the uh, take over the compilation and upload then let's take an example of blinking here's the example basically we are taking 13 pin and we are uh, going to make it high and low after the delay of 1 second verifying it after verifying it we will get the hex file and we are normally going to uh, get the address of the hex file and after getting the address of it we are going to put it in the properties of it over here so here we have got the basically hex file of arduino Copying it. That is bling dot cpp. We have copied it and pasted it in the program file of it, making it okay. We have seen that the the thirteen pin will give it as output. So connecting the array to the thirteen pin and making it as ground. Now playing it, we will see that that LED is basically blinking after a particular time period. So thanks for watching the video.